All right, so here's everything I'm taking on my hike. <clears throat> Start off here is my backpack, which is a Z-Pax Arc Blast 52, right? 52 liter. Weighs 20 ounces, Cuban fiber, amazing. Also from Z-Pax, I've got uh, Hexamed Duplex. I'll set it up here in a minute and put it on film. This is a two-man tent. Also weighs about 21, 20, 21 ounces, including that. I've got my uh, sleeping pad, which is an inflatable sleeping pad. Uh, Sinmat UL7. Uh, <clears throat> we've got gloves, obviously, and I'll go more in depth later into into clothes and things. Uh, this is my uh, Montbell uh, Anorak or whatever it's called uh, down jacket. I lost the stuff sack, so I had to stick it in that thing. Those are my uh, so it's a down jacket. There it weighs like eight ounces. Uh, this is. What are we talking here? Uh, Houdini uh, wind pants, slightly water resistant, but mainly to keep the wind off of you. All right, this is my Z seat. I saw this in Redbeard's video, uh, and it and it looked like an interesting, you know, something that I'd want. And I've had it now for about three or four months, and it is amazing. You, you can uh, sit on it when you stop to take a break. You can stand on it when you change your clothes and you don't get your socks dirty. As well as when you're in your tent, you can stick it underneath you for protection under your uh, inflatable pad because you don't want to get a hole in that thing. This is my electronics here. Um, as far as electronics go, let's see if I this open. Yeah, hold on. Dump this here. I've got a uh, external battery. I think it's like 6400 whatever. Uh, two charging cables, one for my camera, uh, and then the other one is for this as well as uh, my phone. Phone's over here. <coughs> I'm taking Gut Hooks Guide. Uh, it's like an app, and then I bought this phone in the Life Proof case. It's a Motorola Turbo for the battery life and the quick charging. I've got this tripod here that I may or may not use. I don't know. It weighs. Approximately like two ounces or something. It's a pretty cool little device. And then I've got headphones. Oh, and as well, I've got. Uh, I think I'm going to be everybody's buddy when we get to the hostels and stuff because this is a four USB charger. Kind of weighs though. It's like four ounces. We're taking a dumps in the woods here. I've got a, a roll of toilet paper with the tube removed. I don't know how much toilet paper I'm going to need, so I'm just going to bring a whole roll. I've got the space. Uh, some wet wipes and hand sanitizer. I'm going to leave my trowel at home. Just use the latrines at the moment. Uh, camp towel. Uh, it's like a ShamWow type material. Uh, you can dr uh, dry your tin out. All kinds of different kinds of things with that. Very useful. Uh, this is my... I don't know what you call it. I have Q-tips, soap, deodorant, which I'll probably end up abandoning. Uh, and then, you know, I've got some cordage in here. Uh, razor blade if I need to cut anything I'm not taking a knife uh, there's a, a, a pin safety pin you can use it for needle whatever extra lighter uh, I've got moleskin in here mirror tweezers all that all that good stuff uh, this is my clothes bag these are all the clothes that I'm going to take and like I said I'll go in more in depth later in what's in there this is my quilt and I may later uh, give a quick shot of this and, and this is my enlightened equipment uh, 20 degree quilt it's from back in the day when when you could buy one that was made from the seconds and it was a lot cheaper but it, it's amazing quilt it does the job it's my trekking poles I don't know if you can see because of the shade black diamond whatever uh, I need to put more but duct tape on there I have to use that for my shelter not the duct tape <laughs> yeah. And anyway, oh yeah, and these are Z-Pax uh, Cuban Fiber uh, dry bags. And I've got another one coming that I'm going to use as a pillow. Uh, for eating, I've got my food bag here, which is another Z-Pax. Great company. Um, I have lots of their stuff. Uh, so there's my bear bag. Here's my rope for uh, hanging uh, my bear bag up uh, with a carabiner on there. So bear bag, this is my 
cook pot that I'm going to use. It's a 900 milliliter titanium snow peak. I bought an aftermarket lid from, uh, oh, I'm going to say his name wrong, Four Dog Night or Three Dog Night or something. Anyway, this is my coffee mug, which I've removed the lid, and I've uh, gotten rid of it just for, for weight reasons. Don't need it. And here is my uh, coffee filter, which I may or may not be taking. I may just take singles, but really convenient, and I like strong coffee. Uh, titanium spoon here. Uh, Tokes, cheap. It was like 10 bucks. It's amazing. Gets to the bottom of the bags, all the good stuff. Gets it done. And all this right here, minus a spoon, fit all in this little sack. Uh, water bottle, I'm, I'm taking smart water. Smart water bottle. I'll probably just take one of those. Uh, if I need to carry water for an extended period of time, uh, I've got a one and a half liter and a 900 milliliter uh, ever new uh, bags. And then my filter which I really don't filter my water that often. I had to buy a new one, but it's a Sawyer Squeeze regular size because I heard of people having problems with the mini. My stove is, everyone knows, it's the Pocket Rocket. With a, I've got a big canister at the moment. Pocket Rocket, let's fold it open here. Shazow. Um, I've tried alcohol, I've tried wood, I've tried everything. I like this because I can simmer. It's easy, it does what it does. Uh, a little bit sketchy when it gets really, really cold, but I may just go to a no-cook no, no, uh, no cook solution. Headlamp. Uh, I've had this thing for about two years now. It's the Prince Tech. I don't know what it is. It is what it is. It's got a red light. That's what I like. And I think that's it. I think that's everything. Like I said, I'm going to set my tent up here, and we can take a look at it. Uh, I'm going to set up uh, all my clothes out, and you can see what I'm what I'm taking for clothes. And uh, that's all I got. See you in a second. All right, it's the second time doing this because it's the first time I covered up the mic. But anyway, this is uh, my tent that I'm going to take on the Appalachian Trail. It's made by Z Packs. I can't say enough about their gear. I've, I've sent them a lot of money, and uh, I'm I'm happy 100% with everything that I purchased. But this is a two-man tent and a Cuban fiber weighs an amazing like 21 ounces when in, in, including tent stakes which is half of what my uh, last tent last two tents weighed. Uh, huge vestibules it's enough space for two people although it's just gonna be me and my pack I mean you can see here the vestibules are so huge but they have that has this on both sides uh, it's big enough for, for your pack I mean four packs really but um, I got one two-man so I could bring all my stuff inside and I wouldn't be cramped. I could do all my changing and my rearranging in there and I don't have to worry about kneeling or, or squatting or whatnot. It's pretty tall. I think uh, I have my tent pole set up now at 100, about 130 centimeters. I don't even know what that is in inches, but it's tall. If I sit in here, my head only goes to about here. And so you still have lots of head space. It's cool. At night, you can see the stars through it and the moon. You can barely make out, so there's a house over there. But you can't see what's going on. You can get naked, do your business. But amazing tent, Z-Packs. Alright, that's where I'll be living for the next five months.